It was minus 32 last night. It's been, we've been in a deep freeze for, uh, for quite a while now. The fans in the winter shed haven't come off idle. So it is just a low air exchange through the shed. And I just want to see what my uh, carbon dioxide levels are in, in the shed during this time and my humidity um, and my temperature in the shed. I want to see if the bees are able to keep the temperature up in the shed. I haven't added any heat to the room yet. Uh, this cold weather with the air exchange, um, the bees generally create enough heat to be able to keep that room uh, warm without adding any heat. Uh, but cold weather like this, like that's such cold air coming in, uh, minus 35 at night, that's pretty cold uh, to maintain a room temperature at four degrees is what my target is. So I'm just gonna go in and take a peek and see uh, what my CO2 levels are. And then uh, I wanna see what the temperature is too. So I'll just put on my, actually I should take this damn thing off. My red light. CO2, and then we'll go see what it's like. Okay, so the room is holding at five degrees Celsius. These are my two uh, fan modules. This one uh, regulates the purge this one regulates the idle speed, so I have it set. Looks like I have it set about five degrees there. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna test the CO2 within the shed here. So I'll just walk along the aisle. I wanna see the vents. Looking up to my air intake vents and they are obviously frosted right up. And I can feel the cold, cold air coming in. It's minus 32 outside, minus 35 at night. It's been terribly cold. And I'll just walk to the center of the room here in between their B rows to see what my CO2 level is and temperature. You got activity practically in every box here now, which is good. So we'll just take a reading here, roughly 2,500 parts per million CO2, uh, air temperature at 8 degrees, and humidity 31%. So that's pretty good. This room is 45 by 50 with a 12 foot ceiling. Uh, insulated all around. I have roughly 1450 hives or I forget now how many hives I have in here but there's enough hives in this room and the hives are strong enough they're kicking off enough heat to be able to maintain a temperature of 8 degrees right in the center of the shed. On the outside of the shed on the wall where my uh, modules are set up I'm reading 5 degrees Reading the temperature on the inside of the shed at eight degrees, so there's a three degree difference between the uh, between the outside wall of the shed and in the middle of the shed in between all the rows. So these hives are kicking off a lot of heat, uh, enough heat to be able to maintain the temperature within this shed at, uh, you know, between five and eight degrees, which tells me there, there's enough bees in these boxes. Uh, tells me my shed's alive, so that's good. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, it takes a lot of energy to build a heat uh, building of this size, a room of this size, especially in cold, cold weather we've been experiencing. Um, so I can rest a little bit easy just knowing that I have enough bees to build to maintain the temperature. So that's a really good sign. 
Uh, other than the bees coming at my light right now, I'm uh, noticing the hives are fairly calm and collected. Um, I'm not seeing too many messy fronts, which is a really good sign. Next week when I get caught up in stuff, I might try to uh, squish a few bees under a microscope just to see what my nosema counts are out of curiosity. For the most part, things, you know, are as I would expect it and I'll just leave them alone. Maybe I'll come in here later on today to do a sweep, but I gotta get back to the farm to do a few things to, uh, to help out in the day and then uh, just get my mind off this shed.